Good afternoon, YouTube. Welcome back once again to the Fat Cat Collections. Today, doing another Duck So double unboxing. Uh, and I will come back and re review these at a later date, um, each one individually. But I wanted to do a double unboxing just because we're getting close to Christmas. And I want you guys to see these great watches before um, you know Christmas Day. In, in case you want to gift these to somebody or you're looking to add these uh, to uh, your collection as a personal Christmas gift to yourself for being so amazing this last year, right? <laughs> There's my, there's my bullshit fucking sales pitch. So, all right, so what do we got today? So this is another Duxo Atlantica. I don't know why they call this the Atlantica because if you've watched other videos, we know the Atlantica is a Submariner homage, right? The best way I could describe it. Um, right up down to the clasp, right? So this is what we see. Uh, this is the vibe I get when I look at this watch. Now, when I look at the watches I'm going to share with you guys today, I got two color variations. This is what it looks like. So this is their chronograph version. They do make the Dixo Atlantica in a chronograph version, but it looks more like the Submariner. This one here, I think, is made to mimic... I don't Forgive me, I don't know all the Rolex models. I don't follow Rolex uh, that closely. Um, but I think it's maybe, maybe a... Um, Daytona? Not really sure, but this really should be called something else because it's to me it's not a Submariner homage. And I, I my impression was the Atlantica. When we compare these two, even if we're not even referencing any of the Rolex watches, they're just different watches, right? Um, you know, I mean, I, I guess we can say they're very similar as far as the case, uh, but we have a different bezel. That bezel's not standard to your. Uh, to the standard original Atlantica. So I think that they came out with this variation and they just wanted to uh, not have to rebrand it with a different name. Um, although a lot of the Dexos, you know, they don't have, uh, to the best of my knowledge, yeah, they don't have the name on the watch. They can really change it to whatever they want. The, the watch is not branded with any kind of name. So um, regardless though, if you are looking for it and you forget to come back and use my link, which the link is always in the description. I'll throw it up here during the video as well. We can check out these great watches. It should pop up here momentarily. Um, you know, this one is under Atlantica Chronograph. So uh, this is a quartz. As far as the uh, movement being used in this, again, uh, it just says this is a Japan Mecca quartz. A lot of times, those a lot of companies that, that word it like that are using the Seiko. I forget exactly which one. Again, I can't confirm or deny because they don't have it listed. I hope it is a Seiko, but it is a mechanical quartz. Um, guys have <laughs> told me before uh, what that actually means. Um, I've read about it. I just forget. So, But pretty cool. Nonetheless, uh, it is a mechanical quartz chronograph movement. Uh, and for those who don't know what a chronograph is, it's basically just a stopwatch. You have a number one function pusher at the top and then number two at the bottom. Uh, these are non-screw down, so I one of my pet peeves. Um, and again, not to knock a watch, it's a beautiful watch. I like it way more than I thought it would after getting it in my hands. Uh, hence why I have two colors. Um, I, I, I just like when a company, if you're going to do a screw down crown, just do screw down function pushes as well. To me, it defeats the purpose of having that screw down crown if your weak link is going to be your function pushers. So, But nonetheless, the crown basically works by pressing the number one uh, button. It goes into stopwatch mode and you can see that large second hand starts to tick, starts to record time. If we want to pause it, we press it again. That should stop, and then to reset it, we're gonna hit the number two chronograph button, or function pusher button, press it, and you'll see it resets to 12 o'clock position. Some folks don't realize this, this can be said for many brands like this, um, or with this type of movement, is that that second hand's not supposed to work. So some folks come to me and say, yeah, I had this watch, whatever the brand may be, um, I, I burned through a battery in six months. Well, that's because you had the chronograph activated. They have a, a separate sub-dial in most of these watches for your second. So just keep in mind, your main, se your main second is supposed to stay stationary unless you're activating the chronograph. Um, and there was one thing I always do with all my watches that are quartz, I pull the crown to the number two position when I'm not wearing them. Put them in the safe, pull that crown. Are you opening up that seal? Sure, but there is still water resistance with these watches and dust resistance even when you pull the crown to the number two position. So nothing to really worry about there. Uh, you know, I think a lot of times people really worry about that stuff if you have to spend $600 to have it serviced. Watches like this, you don't you don't do that with you know um, you know you may do that with a Rolex that cost you fifteen grand, but with a watch this price these price points, you're not going to do that. So uh, save the battery; it'll prevent you from opening up the case back. Um, I have watches that I pulled the crown that I the battery's still in there after five years and it still works. So. I don't know what battery they use in this. Uh, you know, results are going to vary, of course. So, what do we have? So, we have. Let's talk about the check boxes. We have three sixteen stainless steel. We have that Japanese mechanical quartz movement. We have uh, forty two point five millimeter case diameter. And I think 
you know, the other watches, the other Atlanticas, they say are 40 millimeter. I think they're taking into account the crown and function pushes on this, which is an odd way of, um, and they're not the only one to do it. You should always measure a watch at the bezel. And let me just double check this. The bezel, I don't think, is larger than the standard. Uh, I really should get a caliper one day. It does measure a 42 at the bezel, which is kind of odd if we compare it to the standard original Atlantica. Let me see what this measures. Very strange. Yeah, so this actually, so this actually does measure. I stand correct. This actually does measure at the bezel, 42 millimeter, uh, as opposed to the standard Atlantica. Uh, it, I guess it probably the case must be a little bit larger here because they look like like the bezel's not overhanging the case. So it appears that this is yeah, this should really be brand, totally branded a different watch. We even have a larger case on this. So um, oh well, that, what, what's the difference? You either like it or you don't. Um, we have a what else? We have sapphire lens with anti-reflective coating. That's great. Some of the other one, one of the other ones I reviewed the other day uh, just said that it had a mineral lens with sapphire coating. So just kind of be aware of that. Read, you know, if that is a checkbox for you, this does have the sapphire lens. So that is a checkbox for many people. For myself, not at all. I've never scratched a crystal, whatever it may be. Mineral, flame fusion, K1, whatever it is, they're they're great. So. Um, now, as far as the face on this particular model, this is done in a faux meteorite. Um, when you look at the picture online, you might think that that's genuine meteorite. From what I can tell, um, it's not. It's a faux meteorite. It, I, I, at least I don't believe it is. They don't mention that. Um, and I've looked at meteorite before. Meteorite has more of a glossier, more kind of a more of a, a deeper kind of finish. Uh, this appears to be a faux meteorite, but it looks fantastic. Without further ado, let me show you the other color variation I have here. This is the black bezel, all silver. Just uh, both these watches are absolutely stunning. Um, I will state, though, I kind of wish the rose gold one had that black bezel. I think it really just kind of makes the watch pop a little more. Uh, but it is just a great, great look. Absolutely stunning. Uh, when I got this one, I was really surprised when I took it out of the box. I don't know what it is about that the silver with the meteorite. I've always loved that look, but having that black bezel in there, uh, it really just adds something. I don't know, just my just my opinion. Uh, it's a great looking piece. The black subdials, I think that look would have been much nicer on the um, on the rose tone version, you know. But still, a great looking piece. I mean, you're, you still can't go wrong with any of these. Um, and I'm not really a rose gold fan, you know. I, I don't have a lot of rose gold. This one's really nice. All right, so uh, what else we got here? Um, that's it, fold over buckle. Standard oyster style clasp, uh, even with the plastic still on it. Uh, it appears to be that it is a milled clasp. It's almost like, I'm not really sure if it's a finished mill. It almost looks like a stamped clasp. No, normally when you get a stamped clasp, this is kind of carved, or a, excuse me, a milled clasp. This is kind of carved out. Uh, this appears to be a milled clasp. They left that centerpiece, probably because of the design of the buckle. It's your standard oyster style bracelet. These do not have a dive extension for all you divers out there. So... Uh, but it does have the safety lock, and I've said it in every other Duxo video. I love their class because they work properly. I don't have to jam my fingernail in there. I don't have to put anything on the needle to get it off. Uh, other brands, Pagani, all those other brands, uh, very difficult to get the clasp off. Does it? Is it like something I'm like, oh my God, am I crying about it? No, but I, I can't do what I'm doing right here like that. So um, I, it's nice that they have this kind of really dialed in. Uh, what else? Screw on case back, Duxo logo on the back. You know, no, you have a... I guess you sort of have branding on the crown, but it's really just a D. It doesn't really, uh, you know, very subtle. Uh, stunning watch, you know, oyster style bracelet. It's great looking. Uh, 20 ATMs of water resistance. And that's about it. As far as the other color variations, when you go to the site, they do have this in five different color variations. Uh, hopefully I'll throw a picture up here now. Uh, you have the rose tone I share with you, a two-tone yellow with silver face. The all silver, which is silver bezel, silver dial, silver meteorite. Then they have sort of like what I would consider almost like a starry night kind of black, um, kind of night sky face. I'm not sure what they actually use. They call it graphite. I'm not sure what it actually is. Um, then they have the silver with black bezel version. I, I think arguably uh, the two that I have are the nicest, the nicest execution of these. They're 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 fantastic. I mean, just stunning. So let's talk price here. So like I do with all these videos, I like to let you guys know what they're selling for on their website. Link is in the description. Should be a coupon code in there too. If I have one today, I'm not sure if I do. $13.50. Pretty steep. $13.50 is a lot for a watch, uh, especially a watch that is a quartz. I do think that they're really out there on the price on this one here. And you guys know I love the brand. I have nothing but nice things to say about the staff. 
the people I've worked with, the people I communicate with, uh, the customer service. Um, you know, I have a contact there that I, I have a question. Like, there's no waiting around. Like, these, this, this team of people gets back to me on everything. And that, that's how they treat. Uh, I'm not even a customer, and that's how they treat me, right? You know, I'm just a little YouTuber, and that's, that's the service they provide. So that's fantastic. Um, you know, I, I, but I do think that 1350 for this watch is a lot. This is kind of like uh, Invicta throwing up their $2,000 MSRP. Keep in mind, this is an MSRP price. And this is one of these cases where I'm like, I, I wouldn't buy this for 1350 That's really steep. But the good news is that you can find these. And Ashford has a lot of these models. And if you're just patient, and like I say, whenever I find out uh, that there's a deal, I let you guys know. Holiday price right now for... The silver version with the black starry night face, it does not have the meteorite. So keep that in mind, uh, 174. So that's kind of my point. And the reason why I say I'm not saying that this is a ripoff at 1350 because really price is subjective. Uh, people pay 15,000 for a Rolex, you know, which probably doesn't cost any more between 800 and $1,000 per deuce. Uh, but people want the name, right? People want. Uh, so that's kind of how watches work. So it's really up to you, the consumer, to decide whether or not it's worth it for you. If you fall in love with something and you really want it, then if it's going to bring you enjoyment and you can afford it, there's nothing wrong with spending that much for it. But here's my problem. $1,350 on sale, $174. That's a big price difference. And I, I do hope that at some point we can get these prices I, there's nothing wrong with spend, you know, having a higher price on your website and then having that room to kind of make prices, make these watches go on sale. But when you can get it for 174, your prices have to be kind of in line with that. And right now they're not. So, um, like I said, be a smart shopper. I'll put the link to both websites. You can read about it on Dexo, and you can also, if you want, pick it up and you like that color variation, pick it up directly on Ashford. Uh, you might see different models pop up there from time to time. Uh, right now, they don't have every single Dexo, but they have a lot of the Atlantica uh, iced out bezel versions. They have the Mer Mergulo, which you're going to see on this channel um, probably right after this. Uh, I'll probably bust out that video. I'm going to do a double unboxing on that one as well. Again, later date, you'll see those uh, individually. Uh, but uh, what else? And a couple other variations. So definitely check it out. You know, let me know what you guys think. I love when you guys drop a comment. Let me know what you think about these brands. These are great execution. So without further ado, let's throw in the wrist. I'm about five foot eight. I weigh about 182 pounds, and uh, I have a seven inch wrist. So this is what a watch that's roughly 42 millimeters. It's going to look like on a guy my size, my, my weight. And today we're just going to throw these both on. I don't wear two watches at one time. You, you could. I mean, some guys do. But uh, for me, I, I just wear one. But this is what, you know, you'll see them both side by side. So check these out, man. Great looking watch. Great looking piece. I, I, I will tell you, though, I mean, if I have to, if you're not, if you ask me which one's my favorite, you know, if you had to choose one, I would definitely go with the silver one. Uh, I don't know what it is. Even when I look at these just on my wrist, that black bezel really makes the watch pop. It just really emphasizes uh, that that faux meteorite dial. I love the black uh, dials on this. I hope that they do this variation with the rose gold. That would be a killer watch. But uh, in the meantime, uh, like I said, if, if you got to get just one, get the silver. I think you'll really appreciate the way that looks. It's a stunning looking piece. And what's cool about this variation, you know, if you're if you're looking for, and like I said, I don't know which which um, which Rolex watch this is made to sort of replicate or to mimic, uh, but I know if you go looking around, you're you're probably going to have to go with like a Pagani in order to um, duplicate that. And I don't know. I haven't seen a lot of variations like this. You know, we can find the Submariners all day long. <laughs> Dozens of different brands making that, those, but uh, this I haven't really seen, and this is just a great, a great execution. I, I, you really can't go wrong. Whether you know, of course, whether it's faux meteorite or real meteorite, you still get that look, uh, and it's just a really flashy, very industrial, very metallic look. It, it looks awesome, and that mirror polished bezel, uh, it's awesome. Uh, now it is non-rotating, just to let you guys know, non-unidirectional. It is stationary, but man. These are great. 
All right, folks, so that is it. Thank you for taking the time to watch the video. If you do like the content, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned. You're, you're forever. You're going to see watches on this channel. Uh, it's a great way to get an idea of what it might look like on you. Hear a little bit about the watch. I don't, like I said, I don't ever uh, pretend to be a watch expert or anything like that. I'm giving you guys my honest assessment. Uh, one thing I am an expert on is what you get for your money and what kind of quality you get. And the good thing about most of these brands out there is it, it's an incredible quality. We're living in a time um, where, you know, modern machining, is amazing and it don't don't listen to these watch now these other channels out there they're much larger uh, the unfortunate thing about YouTube is that when like you when I put up a video Duxo is kind of specialized so if you're searching specifically for Duxo you're gonna find it but a lot of these other channels that used to be the case with Invicta and now a lot of these guys who don't even like Invicta but because uh, they're sort of watch their watch channels their following is mainly like luxury folks who love the luxury brands, and they really shit on all these other affordable brands. They always have something negative to say about them. Those guys, when they put up an Invicta video or a Duxo video, they're right at the top of the food chain. It's unfortunate because that's not the kind of review you want. You don't want somebody's perspective who only buys luxury brands telling you, reviewing a watch that's affordable you know what i mean so it's just a di different perspective guys like that leave out that hey you know i'm going to nitpick this watch to death whereas what i'm talking about you'll never see under like under, with the naked eye like you're not gonna like if you see these watches side by side you're not gonna think there's any difference but yet they make it out to be that there's this huge difference and that dissuades people from going with these wonderful affordable brands and ultimately waste money on uh, people waste money on thinking they have to spend a lot more to get quality you don't so anyway thanks for watching guys have a great day happy holidays do subscribe to the channel of course and take care